Uh, the 2019 bill we're seeing in Florida this year concerns two different information sharing provisions. One is sharing information with law enforcement more readily, and two is centralizing a threat assessment database and uh, sharing more information about threat assessments. So a threat assessment is a tool that um, education professionals have been using since Columbine, and what it is is an assessment that school officials are supposed to do uh, to assess the likelihood of a student committing an act of violence against themselves or others. Now this assessment process is supposed to be fairly non-invasive, include not only security professionals, but teachers, guidance counselors, mental health professionals. And the ultimate goal of a threat assessment is to not exclude the child from education. It's supposed to happen early enough so that interventions can happen, that they can stay in school as long as possible, and they can divert that sort of uh, violent energy or the threat into something more productive. A successful threat assessment does not mean a student gets expelled from school. A successful threat assessment and an successful threat assessment process means that the threat was ultimately neutralized. That being said, Florida now has a new bill uh, changing how they're going to be doing threat assessments and one of the big concerns we have is the information they're collecting for threat assessments. Um, that concerns not only like the students information what you'd expect academic disciplinary records other sorts of maybe uh, mental health or IEP information but also information about the students family and the, it, their community and to judge the likelihood of a threat. Now as you move farther away from the student and the student's information, the more and more attenuated that information is and the less likely it's relevant to uh, performing a successful threat assessment. Uh, what you're ultimately asking schools to do is profile not just a student, but their family and their community to make almost certainly biased judgments about that, what that means for the student's capability of violence. Now, the law enforcement sharing uh, the concerns that we have is that the sharing is mandated. Now, schools have always had to practice discipline. Students misbehave, and that may mean uh, a detention is given out, or apology letters have to be written, or whatever other punishment a school would deem as appropriate. Um, with these new information sharing provisions, more and more of those disciplinary decisions are being shifted onto law enforcement. Now, what would once be considered inappropriate behavior, but ultimately non-criminal, becomes criminal because of the new context. Law enforcement officers are there to deal with criminal behavior, not necessarily inappropriate behavior. So we're expanding the scope of criminality that we're seeing with students, and we will see more students be arrested. We will see more students um, enter the juvenile justice system, and this won't be proportionate. It will be more black students. It will be more students with disability, because we know those students uh, actions are more likely to be deemed inappropriate in a school context.